Hello everyone, it's Queen Bee Line back to you with another video. This video pertains to the missing persons case of Alicia Watts of North Carolina. Before I get into the news and my commentary, I would like to send my support to the Watts family and families that are currently missing a loved one as this is a sensitive time for these families as they are anxious to having their loved ones back home. So let us dive right in. As it pertains to Alicia Watts, re Court states that Miss Watts has not been seen or heard from since July 16th, 2023. According to one of her close friends, Lauren Blue, this has been a week of pure torture we just need help to bring her back report state that watts was traveling to charlotte that night with her new partner in her new black mercedes suv on July 18th, 2023, the SUV was found in Anson County. A missing persons flyer was distributed and a missing persons report was filed with the Charlotte M Melkenberg Police Department as well as Moore County and in Siler City. Charlotte authorities found her car and used its GPS system to track where the car has traveled in recent days. A release from Siler City PD noted that Miss Watts is the CEO of Inspired Visions Support S Services Inc., which provides this ability services to persons of all ages in several North Carolina counties. An another family friend by the name of Dorothy Bowers stated in part, there's no way that she would have gone somewhere and not communicated even while she was gone with some of her close buddies. Now, you will watch this brief news clip and I will be back with my commentary. A lot more tonight about a Moore County woman who reportedly went missing in Charlotte on Sunday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Lovingdon. And I'm Ashley Rowe. 39-year-old Alicia Watts was last seen with her boyfriend in the Charlotte area. A missing person report has been filed with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. WRL's Gilbert Bays is live with the breaking news about this case. Gilbert? Yeah, Ashley, what we found out now is that that vehicle, the SUV, the black Mercedes-Benz, has been located in Anson County. Now, authorities are using the GPS locator inside that vehicle to try to determine where that vehicle was since it left from Moore County, headed to Charlotte two weekends ago.
The poster says Alicia Watts has been missing since July 16th, but her friends say what's missing most is her smile and outgoing personality. In any project that she was a part of, she gave it her all. She has a tremendously big heart. We're told Watts was last seen traveling to Charlotte in her black 2023 Mercedes SUV with her boyfriend, James Dunmore. That's the two of them in this picture. We're told the black SUV and Watts' cell phone have been located. Authorities are now using the GPS from the vehicle and phone to develop a timeline of travel in hopes of finding her. Watts was involved in several organizations in Moore County. We're told she had a thriving business that provided mental health care for people in the community. Her closest friends say there is no way she would go away for the weekend and not keep in touch. As far as touching base with the memberships of the organizations that she's with, she's very accountable. There's no way that she would have gone somewhere and, and not communicated even while she was gone with some of her close buddies. We're told Dunmore is being questioned by authorities but has not been charged with any crimes. Meanwhile, family and friends are praying for Watts' safe return. I speak of her in the present and not in the past because this young lady has everything to live for and we need her. Now, authorities say that that vehicle was located on July 18th. It was heading towards Moore County, they believe. Uh, right now, authorities are saying anyone with information about where uh, uh, Alicia Moore might, or Watts, Watts might be located should call 911. Oh, we sure do hope that she turns up and that she is safe. Thank you, Gilbert. I cannot begin to imagine what the Watts family, friends, and community are currently going through at this time. The fact that Miss Watts has an organization which helps persons of disability within her state. Persons are counting on her for assistance and as her friend stated she is responsible so even if she was traveling out of town persons would have known her last location i think officers should get a warrant for her partner's phone and other electronic devices in which he used to communicate with Miss Watts. I've said this before and I will say it again. Persons will court you, date you, have children with you, but secretly envy you behind the scenes. This screams, from my point of view, this screams envy, jealousy, and I want persons to please be sensitive about this case. This woman has been missing for the past two weeks. She has not gotten in contact with anyone within her organization, friends, nor family. This is out of character for her and I need persons to treat this case with compassion and with grace. I've said this before and I will say it again. If we treat missing persons cases as criminal cases, you will see a shift in the attitudes from the general public. In addition, as this story is being shared on social media, I am pleading with the public to be mindful of the misinformation, disinformation, AKA lying about this case as it does have an impact on this case and on Miss Watts's organization, family, and friends. As previously stated, 
an estimated 90,000 to 100,000 plus black girls and black women are currently missing. We are currently in a state of an emergency and we cannot allow our own biases to get in the way of missing persons cases. I want persons to understand that each of these cases are different and we must treat them with care because if we dismiss missing persons cases as it pertains to black people, we will continuously get the same results. It is time that we change the narrative on how we perceive missing persons cases and I will caution the general public of spreading misinformation, disinformation, aka lying about missing persons cases as it does have an effect on the case as well as their families who are waiting patiently for their loved ones to return home. Once again, regardless of the outcome of this missing persons case, we must treat it with grace and supporting this family and community during this time. Lastly, I would like to extend my condolences to family members, known and unknown, who has lost a loved one during the process of a missing persons case. I cannot begin to understand the trauma and grieving process that you are going through and know that your love one story matters. I will leave in the comments and description below for organizations and hotlines as it pertains to missing persons cases. In addition to the telephone number for information regarding the Alicia Watts case. That's 910-309-0327. Once again, that's 910-309-0327. Hoping for the safe return of Alicia Watts. Find Alicia Watts. Find our people and as always please be safe out here and i will see you in the next video